Good afternoon. Hello everybody. Happy Friday. Gosh, is it dark outside? Really, really it's bonfire night. Bonfire night, wintry outside. Do say hello if you're if you're watching. It's always lovely to catch up with you. I think it's been a couple of weeks since we've seen you. Um, oh, hold on, let me just refresh my page. See what's going on. I've already made it bigger this time, so I should be able to hopefully see you. So do say hello if you're watching us. I know we'll be out shopping, doing all sorts of things, but we'll carry on having a chat, won't we? We will. Yeah. We will. Once I find who we are. Oh, there we go. There we go. I can see you now. So, oh, it's, si it's sideways for Facebook this time. What do you mean it's sideways? It looks very long. Maybe it's just where, I, it's just where I've um, expanded it. Oh, I mean it's the same as it is every yeah, every yeah. time. It's a bit strange how it looks different. Anyway, <laughs> <laughs> we are live. We are live. Sorry. <laughs> oh, I know what I forgot. Um, there's a magazine in the office. I shall Thank go and you. retrieve it. I've got it on my list, and I've forgotten to forgotten to bring it. Is it going to be obvious? Yeah. Just if you go to the door on the right hand side. I think it's there anyway. Good job, Amy's here, isn't it? To keep me keep me on. Uh, on time and everything. So how are you? What have you all been up to this week? We've had a busy couple of weeks. Um, we've had a few workshops since we last spoke to you. Uh, there was the Body Double Workshop. Wendy Gardner uh, came and did a uh, workshop here. Did you find it, Ames? Yes, that's the one. That's the one. Thank you. I was just saying that Wendy came and did a Body Double Workshop here, didn't she? Oh, yeah. And they had fun doing that. They all created uh, Exactly because of their body, which I don't know if I'd like to see, but it's very helpful when you're doing fitting. I don't think I want to see any fabric <laughs> of my body at the moment. Yeah, but. It's very helpful when you're fitting, though. And uh, the ladies that came along actually got to make a uh, practice. They made a garment as well, just to sort of twirl the garment to test it out to make sure it was fitting okay. Um, oh, hi, Janet. Thank you very much. So this is the lunar jacket that we made on the sew along, um, which was for paper cut patterns. Thank you very much. Hi, I Janet. I told you I hadn't worn it yet. So I'm wear it today. How are you feeling, Janet? Janet had a bit of a cold last night. Aww. Then it was on the sew along last night. A bit of a cold. Um, so we had that, and then we had our postponed Easter week, Easter sewing school last week. So three days, which should have been in March. So we're, we're catching up. We're gradually catching up with all the postponed classes. So Easter sewing school was last week. Three days of fun sewing. Everyone made some wonderful things. Um, Cynthia made um, a lovely top and a coat last week. Mm. Red coat, red top which was beautiful. Um, yeah, lots of nice things were made last week on the sewing school. And on Saturday I had an overlocker class, which was good fun. Everyone, people bought their own overlockers uh, just to get to know them a bit better and to see what they could do. And one lady just came along to use one of our overlockers to see if she wanted to buy herself one. So that was good uh, as well. Tanya's here. Hi, Tanya. She says she's been deep cleaning her sewing room, oh. going through everything. So, uh, you know room looks great now. Very though. good. Hi Susan. Hi Susan. Susan's gone all Arabic on here again. Oh. I don't know why that is. <laughs> let's okay. not let's not get into that again. No, let's not get into that. <laughs> <laughs> Hi Janet Ruth. Is feeling better. Hi Ruth. How are you? Nice to see you. There's a few people joining on Instagram as well. Hello everybody. We're on Instagram and on Facebook again today, so I'm waiting to both of you. So if, you, if I'm you like I'm not looking quite at the camera, I'm trying to look at both. <laughs> I try and look at both. Um, yeah, so we had uh, overlocker one, which was good fun. People were getting to know them about their overlockers. It's always good fun that class because I have people bring their own overlockers and they're all different makes and it's good to see that they all do the same thing. They all do the same thing. Hi Claire. Ah. Uh, Packing sewing projects to take away with her tomorrow. Taking away with you. Oh. That's not for the, oh, that's taking away tomorrow, is that not really for the retreat? No, they're not, on not the retreat. I'm not for the retreat, are you? What are you doing with your sewing projects, Claire? Where are you going? I'm not coming here. I haven't missed you on the list. <laughs> That has happened. Yeah. <laughs> With all the moving around. <laughs> We've also had a couple of sample portfolio classes. Some of the Monday afternoons we did machine feet one week and we did um, the next part of the dress make the um, dressmaking techniques. We did lots of interesting things there. Oh hi Catherine. Hi Catherine. Oh she's trying to hear us over the fireworks. Oh no, two got... weeks in Austria. Claire's going to Austria. Oh, how lovely Claire. That'll be great fun. Oh, nice. Hi Sue. Hi Sue, how are you? Oh, Barbie's here on Instagram. Hi Barbie. Hi Barbie. Um, Sue, oh, Sue did the bag workshop last week. Uh, that was this week rather, on Wednesday. So four ladies came along and made bags with Sue. I'm looking forward to seeing pictures of those, Sue. Mm -hmm. They all sound like they had a fun day though. Hi Helen. Uh, oh, hi how Helen, are how are you? Nice to see you. Thanks for joining us everybody. Hi Jean. 
Hi, Jean. And Maggie. Hi, Maggie. <laughs> Hi, Maggie. Maggie from the bag making workshop last week. So that was last week. So we've also had afternoon and evening classes. And our sew along, we're still making the box pleat shirt, the trend patterns box pleat shirt, which is going very well. Um, we did all the uh, all the French seams last night, so one more week of that, collars and cuffs, and then we'll just be able to show you that. Maybe I'll have it done to wear on the retreat. If I finish it. Wow. Thanks. Oh, hi Sally, how are you? Hi Sally. Nice to see you. You were on the bag making as well, weren't you, last week? So. I'm looking forward this to seeing week. pictures of all your... This week, yes, Wednesday. I don't know what day it is. <laughs> it's only Friday. It's only Friday, yeah. Although we thought it, it was Friday yesterday, didn't we? We, we were did. acting like it was Friday. Yeah, completely forgot, <laughs> completely forget what day it is. I've got a weekend sewing school coming up this weekend, so two days um, with everybody this weekend, which will be fun. So it's all non-stop, non-stop. We're gradually catching up with things. Next week we've got... Um, what have we got next week? A oh, little black dress next week, which again was from March. There is a space on the little black dress workshop. If anyone would like to come along, it's a three-day workshop. Uh, and I have got a pattern that I sort of try and get one to use, but you know, everyone brings their own pattern in the end. <laughs> and if I can get people to make a black dress, that'd be great. <laughs> well, I think you had one little black dress when there were no black ones made, didn't yeah. you? <laughs> <laughs> but no, basically it's to make a dress. Then we should the change classic, it to the little dress. The classic <laughs> dress, yeah. <laughs> the little dress workshop. But basically, it's, it's the, the idea is to make a classic dress. You know, that sort of go-to dress, whenever you've got an event, you can just go to it. So it could be any colour, really, but that sort of shift dress. Uh, oh, Claire's going to make the Berlin jacket in Austria. Oh, I love that coat. It's a really good one. Yeah, Amy's making yeah, it. Yeah, I've made, made it. That, I want it? to make another one, actually. I love it. Here's a nice one you make from Bold Wool. Oh, yeah. You can't take your overlocker to Austria as well. <laughs> <laughs> well, you could. Well, you could, yeah. Are you driving to Austria, Claire? Because then you could stick it in your car. I know when Suzanne comes over from Jersey, she often brings things like that. Mm -hmm. Sewing so machines, overlockers. Jersey, not Jersey. Guernsey, sorry. Oh, do you know why I said Jersey? Because she... Suzanne is actually coming over for next week and she's, her, her boat, she's got to go from, Jers from Guernsey to Jersey and then from Jersey to Portsmouth. Oh, what and a couple. Yes, yeah, so that's why she's, she put, sent a message um, today saying she, she'll catch up with us later. Evening, Tanya. Oh, the hi, other Tanya. Tanya. Other Tanya, yes. Hi, Tanya. Nice to see you. So, yeah, little black dress next week and then we've got our West Country retreat, which we're very excited about. Woo -hoo. Very excited, making lots of plans for that. Super excited. Yeah, we've been sorting, Amy, Amy's been sorting out all the menus for the restaurants and, yeah, organising the timetable so we know what we're going to be doing. So we'll be heading off down there the following Tuesday to get everything set up. Mm -hmm. um, and then there's a couple of other workshops coming up after the retreat and there's, there's not many spaces on the workshops uh, at the moment, as you've probably seen by looking at the workshop, looking at the uh, timetable, but there is, um, what have we got? There's a couple of Monday afternoon workshops, uh, the sample portfolio, there's pressing and there's advanced dressmaking techniques where we go through all different underlinings and things and also um, uh, interfacing one as well, so about all about different interfacings and then we'll have a denim skirt in December and pyjamas, so making using the cowling pyjamas pattern like, like the one you can see behind me, so lots of piping and things. Hi Suzanne. Oh hi Suzanne, she's in her cabin. So you're on your way to Jersey from Guernsey. <laughs> And a new workshop. Oh, well, yes, I thought about that. Yes, I thought it in. <laughs> While we were, doing, we were doing the newsletter that day and we realised there wasn't many spaces. And I also realised that I normally, in December, do a, week, a Christmas weekend sewing school and I hadn't put one in. So there is now a Christmas weekend sewing school, which is on the 18th and 19th of December. So it's just a general sewing school. You can come along and make whatever you like. You might have some Christmas presents to make. You might have an outfit to finish. Um, but yeah, do come along. I think there's a couple of spaces left on that. Um, Hi Esther. Hi Esther. Nice to see you. So yeah, 18th and 19th of December, Christmas weekend sewing school. There's actually four spaces left on that, so come mm -hmm. along. Well, it only, went up, it only went up yesterday. I know, it did. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, so that's going to be fun. So that's all the workshops up to Christmas, and then we'll have caught up with all the postponed workshops and start afresh in the new year, which should be fantastic. It should be fantastic. So what have you all been up to since we last saw you two weeks ago? That's flown by the last two weeks. Um, I'm looking at a quick look at uh, um, uh, Midhurst Sewers, and I see that almost straight away after I did the tutu demo last week, Julia, was it Julia? No, it was um, Catherine made a collar for her dog in the, using ribbons in the same process like yeah. the tutu. So cute, really good. And Suzanne's made, um, hi Phil. Hi Phil. Uh, Suzanne's made some tutus for her granddaughters as well, made it, made it with, the, with them. 
Um, yes, I have believed Suzanne, thank you. <laughs> it has been. I have obviously spreadsheets. My spreadsheets. <laughs> My spreadsheets are going to be like the simplest oh, things next ever year, now. Next year, spreadsheets are going to be easy. But yeah, this one has been, yes, interesting. <laughs> I keep thinking I'm going to make a mistake with it, but so far, one or two little hiccups, but nothing major. Nothing major. I'll be all caught up. Um, so yes, Catherine made the a little collar, which was really cute. And I can see that would be a really nice Christmassy thing you could do with Christmas ribbons, couldn't you? Make a collar. Um, and Suzanne made a couple of wrap dresses, which is lovely. I think one of them might be for yourself, mightn't it, Suzanne? Or maybe for everybody else. Janet could have picked up her body double, which I think she was calling Dolly, which was very cool. Be very useful for the help with fitting. Um, and Sally made a beautiful dress for her granddaughter. It was so pretty, Sally, that little pale pink dress. Really lovely. I love seeing what you've all been making. It's been it's really great. I think Julia also put a picture up of the dress she's made from Wardrobe By Me, the freedom dress. Um, Are you uh, wearing your lunar jacket? Yes, it is the lunar jacket, Suzanne. Yes, paper cut patterns, lunar jacket. It used to be the coachy jacket, but now it's the lunar jacket. And this fabric is by um, the Cloth Atelier, which I picked up at Thread Festival earlier this year. It's that little pin tucks. And I suddenly realised I hadn't worn it, Suzanne, so I thought I should wear it today. So yeah, that's, yeah as I say, Julia put the picture of the Freedom dress up. I think she mentioned it on our last live that she'd made it. Uh, and it's a really nice dress, Julia. Well done. Really good. So lots of things going on on your pages. Oh, hi, Celia. Taking old guide badges off a blanket to make a memory for oh that's nice enjoy some Cecilia lemon gin oh she's on the cocktails already uh -oh. Celia. <laughs> hi Celia Esther's ordered the Atelier magazine lovely to read on my article. oh thank you I was going to talk about that Esther that's the the latest Makers Atelier magazine which is here um, which is all about working with lace and she's also ordered one of the blouse patterns Suzanne says you can really see the colour today. Oh, oh yes, because really, when we do the sew along, sometimes you can't really see the pattern, the colour, can you? What else? I'm just trying to read Esther's. Esther's long one. She's working on a twelve. Passing over zip. Oh, well, if I could help. Esther's doing our dressmaker's portfolio, so we can always do that on the tutorial. Um, yeah, <laughs> Susan's saying a preemptive strike by Celia, getting in there earlier with the gym. <laughs> <laughs> Um, yeah, so this is the uh, the new magazine by the Makers Atelier, uh, which is all about working with lace. And it's got some great articles, pop them on by me, on by me, on uh, how to work with some ideas on working with lace, um, but also lots of inspiration. Not apart from the one by you. As well as. Oh, you said as apart well from. As, so, as well <laughs> great as. articles apart from the one by oh, me. No, sorry, as well as the one by me. <laughs> Especially <laughs> the one by me, <laughs> Which is interesting, um, but also lots of inspiration of uh, how to use lace on the um, with all the different lace tele patterns. So there is a free pattern for the little top in the magazine, which is a good, a good, nice, simple pattern. A good introduction to working with lace. Actually, uh, it's very nice. Celia said the gin is a good is a reward for being a good girl at the dentist. Well, you deserve it if you've been to the dentist, Celia. Yeah. Medicinal then. Medicinal, yeah, medicinal. Oh, Jean Taylor's here on Instagram. Hi, oh, Jean. Hi, Jean. Looking forward to seeing you at the retreat in a couple of weeks. So yeah, lots of there's lots of inspiration. Like the, the red dress is actually the Max Atelier. Oh, I mean, you told it up. Max Atelier slip dress. You may have seen this picture on Instagram. Uh, and it's always lovely when you work with lace to put to try different colours underneath because it really makes the lace stand out. Um, what machine, machine have you got? This is to know me. Um, M100 QDC. It's very good. I've been instructed to take the magazine to the next lace group meeting. Oh, oh no pressure going to a lace group meeting. But yeah, there's a couple of pictures there. You can see actually on down here this lovely um, navy lace with the lime colour underneath. So it's a nice thing to do to use the lining. So there's lots of tips on um, how to use lace in your garment. That's another pretty one there. Look, with a finer lace, like a lever's lace. This is a a heavier guipa lace, which is sort of like corded lace. So, and using lace edgings, all sorts of good stuff in here. And lots of really nice articles about lace makers. Bloomsbury's um, got some lovely that corded lace. The oh, heavy, has she? The heavy cotton lace. I think she's got it in red and cobalt blue. Ooh, just lovely. beautiful French laces. Yeah, really nice. Yes, it's always it's always really interesting articles, isn't there? Um, it's a bit about how the lace making process. Museum of Lace and Fabric. I haven't had time to read this. Oh, I, yeah, I well, now's not the time. 
you're doing it again. I can't help it. Because it gets delivered here and I forget to take it home. So I must take it home tonight. Now I've shown it to you, all to you here. Oh, hi, Lisa. Hi, Lisa. Lisa says she's oh, here from the, the car. car. Nice to see uh, you. Lisa's coming on our cruise next year and Amy was able to send out some emails about cruise cruise next year's cruise this week weren't you Ames? Mm -hmm. oh barbie says yep yeah, you're right if the lace is a perfect match to the fabric it doesn't show up i can't see it exactly it's a bit about the color con wallace they always have lovely lace yeah so lots of great things in the made to tell you magazine and lots of inspiration um for using lace <laughs> in her patterns celia says i sound like her daughter telling her off yeah well sometimes we need to bring it back into the room celia yes well I get a bit distracted sometimes when I'm looking at a really lovely magazine. So you can buy individual copies of the magazine or you can subscribe as well. And the, the, the subscribers get the magazine a few days early. Oh, I've said, like Kate Middleton's dress, I couldn't tell it had lace all around the hem. Yeah, exactly. Yes. Yeah, it's always nice to... And your wedding dresses is difficult, isn't it, Barbie? Because you always try and get everything very similar colours. Uh, Tanya says she used to make lace. It takes forever. It toes forever, actually. It toes forever. <laughs> well, she did say toes, but I assumed she meant takes. <laughs> we like a good auto, correct? Uh, oh, too tall to bead, which I'm oh. guessing is too tall to sew. Justine. Hi, Justine. How <laughs> are says, you? Says, hello, just spotted you. I've just cut out another bra and finished blinging a previous one. So much blinging fun. <laughs> <laughs> I'm love seeing the pictures of uh, uh, your bras, Justine. Justine's got really into bra making and puts pictures up on... Um, uh, on the midterm sales and they're fantastic. I think once you start and once you've perfected it, the first couple you make are always a little bit trial and error. So you'll be using lots of lace as well in those, um, Justine. Did you go to Gold Hawk Road, Justine, with Martina? I thought she was saying that you might be meeting up in Gold Hawk Road to do a bit of shopping. That would be dangerous. So yeah, lace is a fun thing and it's very, uh, very in fabric this year. There's lots of lace dresses around in the shops and things so, um, and you can easily make them. What is Susan saying yes to? I missed that. Sorry, Susan. So that lace takes forever. Oh, lace takes forever. Yes, it does. I remember seeing the Lace Makers Guild at the shows and sitting there with their little, what are they called? The little things that you cross over to make the lace. I don't know what they're called. Susan and uh, Tanya will tell me, I'm sure. But they're so beautiful and it looks lovely. But yes, it would take forever to make. So have a look at that if you haven't got it already. It's always one of my favourite magazines. And I think actually on the front cover of Thread magazine last month was a... Bobbins. Bobbins. Oh, Bobbins, yes. Uh, okay, Suzanne. Yeah, Bobbins, Bobbins and Bobbins. Thank you, Jean. Bobbins. Lace Bobbins. Okay, Suzanne, we'll see you, on, see you next week when you, when you arrive. It'd be lovely to see you. Uh, Justine says she's going tomorrow. Ah, oh, okay. And I thought you were going to meet up with her. That'll be fun. Look forward to seeing what you buy in Gold Hawk Road. Yeah. Have a great day. On the, if you get Threads magazine, which is the American magazine, on the front cover of that this month is a lovely uh, dress from the Tunic Bible, the one we often use here, the Tunic Bible. And um, uh, does anyone tap? Yes, tatting is lace making, isn't it, Celia? Is that the same thing? Um, uh, and on the front cover is a beautiful uh, tunic which has a, a placket made in lace, and that lace was done on the embroidery machine by Mary Funk, the lovely lady who teaches us uh, couture trims. She made a placket. Um, using her embroidery machines and you can embroider onto solvable um, wash away stabiliser. So you can solve your mo um, stitch your motif and then wash it away and you can make lace that way as well, which was very clever. Lovely article about how to do that in Threads magazine, another one of my favourite magazines. Um, so you know, I think lace making would be, be a fun thing to do. I'd like to try it on the embroidery machine actually, that would be fun. Hmm. So do I don't know that I have the patience. I don't think I'd have the patience to do the hand lace, but hmm. you know. Probably very um, mindful, very mindful. So that's a little bit about lace, and I probably will. Add, I know I haven't been able to add any new, really new uh, workshops to the um, timetable, but I, I'm planning to do a lace dress next year, or maybe a lace skirt to keep it simpler, just to give you um, some tips on working with lace. So look out for that. I will be adding some new workshops. I did a few new ones for next year, but I'll be adding some completely new ones, not just repeats of the ones we've done before, because. We've had uh, two years now, so it'd be nice to bring in some new things. Mm -hmm. I've got to keep up in my game for you people that come here so often, which is fantastic. Um, yeah, so what else have I been noticing? What have news have we got to talk about this week? Um, Project Runway. Who's watching Project Runway? 
on a Thursday. I've caught up. You caught I up. I haven't games? seen episode three. Oh, I've been watching because it because it wasn't available yet. Oh, okay. You've had to watch it on Prime. Prime, you? but I realised no. But was episode three this week? Last week. I no. watched three. Yeah, I was watching it on Monday, but for some reason it hadn't come up on they Prime. They had to do yet. a Halloween ball. Oh, do don't ha- tell me. Don't tell me. I'm not telling you. I have to see what, oh, the, okay. what the actual challenge was. <laughs> <laughs> That's what the challenge was to make a, but it had to be uh, not costume, so it had to be okay. a beautiful dress suitable to wear to a masquerade ball. Uh, oh, Justine's on Facebook now, looking at wedding dress. What was that? Yes, see, if that's the USA one, yes, you can get it on Hey You uh, through Now TV, Sky TV, or on, you can add it to Amazon Prime as well. Hey you. Justine saying, looking at wedding dress fabric tomorrow for her sister. Uh, oh, Lady Lisa saying, machine embroidery, a whole new learning curve. It is, isn't it? Lady not to Lisa, mention Lisa. an expense. <laughs> yes, it is to get the decent machine. Yeah. Oh, Suzanne's back on her phone. <laughs> oh, good. Hi, <laughs> Suzanne. <laughs> yeah, the USA one, Celia, it's really good. It has um, Christian Siriano as the mentor, and he's fantastic. I think he's great. He's such good fun, but he also, they obviously all really respect him because he was a previous winner of Project Runway, and but he has. He's the most successful winner ever. Yeah, he is, and he's very inspirational. Uh, so if you get to see it on a Thursday night on Hey You. Uh, through now or Prime or Sky, I think you can get it. Really worth watching. While we haven't got any other sewing programmes on at the moment. Uh, so that's why I've been watching is Project Runway coming up in the cinema. Have you noticed that's what you've seen today that Spencer comes out in the cinema? There's a lot of beautiful costumes in that. Um, I'm not sure. I'm not sure that I want to go and see it in the cinema or not. I think I'll wait for it to come yeah, out. Yeah, exactly. Day. Oh, hi, Coral. How are hi, you? Hi, Coral. She's oh. got a new puppy. Oh, how exciting. Oh, I bet that's keeping you busy, Coral. <laughs> What's a cavapoo? Is it a cavalier Cavalier Spaniel. Oh, my goodness. That would be like my dream dog. Yeah, how lovely. Oh, that's exciting for you, Coral. Yeah, I bet you haven't got the time to sew. Keep everything out of the way as well. You've got a little cavapoo. Um, that's really the dog lovely. I want now. I'm imagining it. <laughs> It'll be so pretty. I've always wanted a cavalier. Yeah, it'd be lovely. Oh, we will be, we'll be Googling cavalier. Yeah, we will do. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so Spencer looks good. How do you feel about that film? I saw, seen the trailer, and uh, I saw an interview with, I think it was Charles Brandon this morning, and he's seen it, and he said it is quite, um, it's not much, not much happiness in it, because it's not a happy story. They've picked a certain time, I think it's 1991 over the Christmas period, so quite a sad time for Diana. And also, but there's also, uh, they say that it definitely isn't factual, it's based on fact, um, and there's lots of sort of surreal moments in it as well. So it is a bit like a fairy tale. Um, so hmm. I'm not, I can't imagine quite what it's like. So it's wow. not. So it's not like The Crown. I'm looking um, forward to it. Though. Yeah, and I think uh, Kristen Stewart's obviously done a fantastic job uh, playing Diana, but we'll see. I'm, I tend to watch those sort of things for the costumes. <laughs> oh, yeah. And there's also a new film out called Quant. That's going to be on limited release, though. You have to look to see when that's on. We might have to wait for that to come out on uh, Prime or something, which has been directed by Sadie Frost, which is the story of Mary Quant, which will be really interesting. That'll be, that'll be great, and great costumes in that as well. So look out for those two. We're still waiting for the Gucci movie to come out. Yeah. That's not out yet. With Lady Gaga. Excited. That'll be good. Um, that might be a cinema one. Yeah, I think I'd like to see that in the cinema. That might be our first trip to the cinema. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. Oh, we are going to the theatre next week, aren't we? We so, are. Yeah. So it was Amy's birthday last week, and I got her tickets to see Les Mis. Very excited. Yeah. Which we. It's, it's on. It's one of my all time wanting to see it and it never is. got around to seeing it yeah once. so we're going to go up to London and see Les Mis and stay overnight so we can do maybe maybe a little bit of Christmas shopping <laughs> maybe just a little bit of a look round just to get some of the atmosphere that's always nice look at the Christmas windows oh hi now oh hi mum how are you I'm not, oh you are a little bit late but don't worry <laughs> yeah. we've just been chatting we've just been chatting about stuff like we do normally just talking about Amy's birthday and how we're going up to London next week. So we've done a couple of theatre trips. So I think we could probably manage a cinema, couldn't we? Hmm. Maybe make a cinema. As far as new patterns goes, um, oh, Jean's saying take a look. I did shoes. say I'm yeah. bound to cry. I mean, yeah. I cry at the movie, let alone the uh, yeah. the theatre show. It is interesting though, because when we say we're going to see it, everyone's it's always I've seen that five times. We're, oh, I haven't even seen it once yet. Not even seen it once. So it's going to be the, obviously going to be the first of many times that we go to see it. Mm-hmm. It'd be my new addiction, I think. Yes. Yeah. I mean, I've seen the movie about ten times. Yeah, I can watch that a lot. That mm. movie. It is very sad, isn't it? It's very sad. It is. 
Um, anyway, let's talk sewing patterns. New sewing patterns <laughs> coming out. There's been some. There's a really interesting one that I saw today called the. the I've written down the next sweatshirt. But I think it is not called the next sweatshirt. Um, it's by So Liberated, but it's, basically it's got a quilt block on the front, and it's for jersey fabrics. And I just thought it'd be a really interesting way of using up scraps of jersey. Um, it's not called the next. <laughs> That's really annoying because it's not called that. Well, Tanya says the quick... concert version is also amazing. I'm just having a quick look to see what it's called. It's not called that. <laughs> That's so funny. Nest. It's called the Nest sweatshirt. That's what it's called. Just you couldn't nest. read your own writing. No, it's typed. I must have said typo. Oh. It's a typo. <laughs> um, yeah, the Nest sweatshirt by So Liberated, which has got a quilt block on the front. So I might have a look at that. Maybe we'll do it as a workshop because I think that'd be quite a fun way of using up. Um, I'm not, I'm not a quilter, as you know, <laughs> but uh, I thought they quite good fun. Oh, Jean said they filmed parts of the movie in Portsmouth Dockyard. Oh, oh I did not I know that. that. I read that. That's, yeah, I think you can see parts of it, can't you, Jean? Yeah, that's great. I love that movie. It's really well done, mm. isn't it? I feel like I want to go home and watch it. Yeah, maybe this weekend. Mm. Get ready for the... To get ready. Yeah. <laughs> in preparation of seeing it. Live. Yeah. <laughs> I'll make Chris watch it. So have a look at the Nest sweatshirt on uh, So Liberated. And also, I spotted these actually through the fold line. The fold line are great, aren't they? Sending out their new pat, their new recommendations. And last week they had lots of patterns by Vicky Sews, who have some fantastic oh, patterns. Oh, they look amazing! Thought, they? Really I really great. want to try the patterns from Vicky Sews. They yeah. look so cool. I think we'll have to last do some week workshops. there was that one. It was like a puffer coat, mm. but it was a really cool pattern. It was almost like a proper tailored coat, but in puffer fabric. In puffer. It looked amazing. And I'm wondering. Obviously, part of the pattern must be to make the fabric. I think it is. So I'm quite keen to do that. Yeah, I think it is. Because it didn't look like it was a waterproof fabric. Mm. It looked like it was a... Um, uh, like quilted. a cotton or yeah, something. Yeah, because you can buy quilted fabric, but nothing's like as thick as that sort of puffer jacket fabric. I'm sorry, can we just hold the phone? Because Jean's just said she met Russell, as in <gasps> Russell Crowe. You met <laughs> Russell in Portsmouth? <laughs> Jean? <laughs> you kept that very quiet. Did you get a selfie, Jean? Yeah, we want to see that I'm on Monday evening. <laughs> uh, hi, Wendy. Sue's cooking dinner for Wendy. Oh, you're lucky. Before you go to the fireworks. Oh, that'll be fun. Perfect night for fireworks for you. Yay. I'm jealous. <laughs> <laughs> Have a lovely time, you two. Yeah. I'll catch up with you soon. Thanks for joining in. Yeah, thanks for joining. You did get a selfie. selfie. Bring it in on Monday, Jean. I'd love to see that. Jean couldn't make it last Monday because there was a accident on the, on the um, A27. I mean, the sewing, the lives just get more exciting. They do. They? I can't believe it. Somebody's met Russell Crowe now. That's the <laughs> you can come and tell us all about it on Monday. <laughs> oh, Suzanne's giving up because the reception's not good. Oh. Never mind, Suzanne. You can watch it on Catch Up. Yeah. And you'll see us <laughs> waving at you. <laughs> we'll see you next week. So the, one of the patterns that's in this week's um, uh, Fold Line newsletter is the Ettery um, Blazer, which is... It's fantastic. It's really Beautiful. lovely. It's got darts on. It's quite a fitted blazer, and it's got darts on the outside, so it's got nice detail, which I think would be great. I really want to make it, and it's a long one, mm. isn't it? Yeah, it's, like it's quite a long line. Yeah, like mid thigh yeah. almost. So I need to. I haven't tried her pants before, so I might get one of their patterns and just to see what they're like as far mm. as independents go, and then maybe get that jacket. Oh, dinner! Yeah, Wendy says that dinner smells lovely, and I had dinner at Sue. Oh no, I didn't have dinner. I went to Sue's quite late one night. Sue she, says dinner. Susan. No, it's Wendy. Wendy typing on Sue's thing. Oh, I missed the first comment. Yeah, Wendy's typing on Sue's I understand. things. <laughs> so have a look at the Vicky Sews pants. Let me know what you think. Friday Pattern Company got a new blouse out, the Patina blouse. And if you buy it direct from Friday Pattern Company, you get 20% off. But of course, you can get it from the fold line. It's a nice blouse with a sort of shawl bit here. Yeah, I quite like it. It's that really popular collar. Mm. I can't remember what that, what that collar's called. It's like a shawl collar, isn't it? Well, it's not the shawl. You know those collars Holly Willoughby wore loads of those mm. shirts with the really long collar? Round bit. Yeah, I don't know what that's called. Well, it's just got a really long... So it's almost like a v-neck, but with a collar. Yeah, but it's a collar. Mm. But it actually looks good, not... Um, yeah, it's some a nice of them look pattern. a bit too twee, but it's If they're cool. too short, they look quite vintage. Yeah, I think this one's a bit here. longer. It's quite modern, sleeve, and it's yeah. got a nice puff sleeve. Yeah, it's cool. Patina, Patina blouse by Friday Pattern Company. So you have to say that is on. I think it's only on today's so twenty. No, this obviously. weekend. Oh, this weekend. If you buy it direct from Friday Pattern Company, you get twenty percent off. So have a look at that one. And Closet Core have bought out a free T-shirt pattern. Uh, so if you want to, if you want to see it, like a classic T-shirt pattern, classic Closet Core have bought out a free one. You can download from their website. It goes from sizes zero to thirty-two. 
So wow. nice big um, size range. It's just quite a sort of boxy square t-shirt, uh, but a really useful pattern. And you can download that one. Um, I didn't actually look to see if it prints off at A0, but t-shirt wouldn't be many pieces if you had to even do it on A4, would it really? No. So oh, Susan says she's downloaded it already. Oh, there <laughs> you go. Is it only on A4, um, Susan? Barbie said it might be called a Chelsea collar. Ah, oh, thank you, Barbie. I'll hmm. have to look that up. Yeah, it's like a V-neck, but it's got that sort of short collar, you know, so it's nice. Very pretty. Very pretty blouse. So that's all the new patterns I spotted this week. Well, the ones that I like, anyway. <laughs> Let us know if you spotted any others that you like. Uh, because I'm thinking, I'm always looking for... Oh, Susan said that the T-shirt's on A4 or A0. There you go. So you Excellent. could, Thank you you could you download it and get it printed by uh, somewhere like um, Fabuloso or Pattern Z. Somewhere like that. Which would be great. Um, yeah, I'm looking for patterns to do new workshops next year for workshops here at the, at the same time and also for sew-alongs as well. So always looking for nice fun garments to make. Um, as far as fabric shops, not that many sales on this week that I've spotted, that we no, spotted really. Um, we did spot that Fabric Godmother have some great party fabrics. We know oh. that Victoria has at Bloomsbury Square got some beautiful party fabrics, but Fabric Godmother had some metallic foil jerseys. I've jersey. just ordered some. So that sort of stretchy metallic fabric, you could make something like um, the Meg's Atelier uh, stretch pencil skirt or something, and they had it in bright pink. I bought they? the bright pink. You bought the bright pink. Silver, gold. And I bought gold, yeah. Emerald green. So they've got that, and I think it's about, was it £7 a metre? £7 a metre, yeah. yeah. So, so just yeah. for a bit of fun, for yeah. a hard Christmas party. I'm very excited. I don't know how thin it is, but we were saying even if it's a too thin, I'll just line it, scuba. Line it. Yeah, exactly. I'm very excited And about they had it. also had some uh, nice silk, silk viscose um, velvet as well for £20 a metre so if you're looking for some nice velvet I've ordered some samples of that so I'll let you know but it, normally a silk viscose velvet is lovely to work with so if you wanted some nice wide leg velvet trousers that would be good wouldn't it or a velvet mm -hmm. dress for Just thinking about, I mean actually it's probably completely the wrong time but would it be better to underline it in scuba? Let's wait and see that's what it's like yes it. underline you is better you probably would be better to underline yeah. wouldn't you? yeah, yeah. yeah. for that together. pattern yeah yeah Carry Definitely. On. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just looking through to make sure I haven't missed anything because I did things all in a different order today. I think I've talked about everything that everyone's been doing this week. It's always nice to see what everyone's doing. Patterns, yeah, that's all the patterns that we spotted that we liked. Let us know if you've spotted any patterns that you like, any new ones. It's always good to see what you like as well. Um, I did think, while we're, while we're talking about patterns, I did think I'd do a little... Festive demo. So last time I did a demo uh, for making little, little tutus, which is a little bit different from what I normally do. And this today I'm going to do something again, which is quite different from what I normally do. <laughs> which, <laughs> which is well, you know what it's like. The minute it goes past midnight on the thirty first of, of October, it's, it's Christmas. Christmas. <laughs> it's Christmas. Yeah. So, and if you're looking for, if you want to, like, if you wanted to make things for Christmas and do Christmas projects, you've got to start them early, haven't you? So this is a little way of using up scraps of fabric and you could make a cushion or you could make a stocking. I've made a little stocking. It's very small because this is what I used to teach. I taught this at one of the shows. I think it was a Dublin show actually I taught this. Wendy might recognise this. Um, oh, hi Jen, how are you? Oh, we were just talking about that blouse, Jen. Yes. I think that's the, that's the um, Friday Pattern Company one, isn't it? The, the patina blouse, um, Jen. Tanya, Tanya, the t-shirt is from Closet, Closet Core. Closet Core Patterns. Um, yeah, so this is, I taught I taught this little workshop at um, at the show, and it's called stitch and flip stitch and flip patchwork. Um, oh, I'm glad you're feeling better, Jen. Jen, if you haven't bought that pattern earlier, if you missed what we were saying, it's twenty percent off if you buy it directly from Friday Pattern Company this weekend. That patina blouse. So I did this quite as quite a small sample because obviously um, Amy gets cross with me if I do big things. <laughs> take too long she's having to hold the camera but also it's just a way it's just to, to give you an idea of how to do it and then you can use your imagination as to make bigger things so you might need to come in for this oh, uh, to show you uh, Jen saying thank you Tanya's saying thank you um, so I have got actually when I was looking out to do this um, I found lots of bits of Christmas fabric like you do lots of bits of Christmas fabric so to make this you can download patterns of um, templates and things for stockings. Um, so I just downloaded a little pattern. I think I might have done this freehand because it was... Um... It 
is easier to do and you need your pattern you'll need some wadding this is like a thin two ounce wadding um, and obviously before you make a little one like this it gets a bit bulky this would just you could make one just hang on your I know what Sue would do, she'd put a sample, of, or you could do, put a sample of alcohol in here, like the little bottles, yep. little mini bottles and hang them on your tree. Perfect. You could make big ones as well. So you'll need some wadding, you need to cut two pieces of wadding from Soft your... Soft drinks are also available. Yeah. <laughs> two pieces of wadding uh, and three pieces of fabric. So I'm using this holly fabric as my lining and also as the back, as the back of my stocking. Uh, and then I've got another piece of wadding here, which I'm going to do the um, patchworky bits on. So I'll move those out of the way. I'll tell you about those in a minute. Oh, I haven't talked about the haberdashery, have I? I must do that in a minute. So this is my piece of wadding, and these are my bits of fabric. So first of all, before you start, it's quite a good idea to lay out your bits of fabric, just roughly to sort of see what sort of order you might like them to be. And they don't have to be in straight lines. Now, I'm not a patchworker, so I find it, I'm quite, I'm not very good at being random. <laughs> I'm just not, I like, I'm too too much of a straight line person, but it's quite good if you can try and be a bit random with your pieces and do them in different, different angles. You see, I'm being quite straight, I just can't help it, I can't help it. So I might do something a bit like that for my um, pieces, you don't have to cut them to size, just have a rough idea of what order you'd like them to be in. Um, I'm just going to grab some pins here, and I'll need my scissors as well. So I'm just going to move those roughly to the side. I'm going to start off with that piece, and I'm going to I'm going to line that piece up to the top because I quite like that at the top. I'll try and make sure it sort of says Merry Christmas in the middle, but obviously that's me giving myself a problem now because I've got some writing. So place your first piece onto your wadding and then take your second piece and place it right sides together you don't have to line up the edges even it doesn't really matter it doesn't line up put a few pins in really i've done with the iron oh bye it. lisa oh, nice to see you lisa take care pin through all the layers and then i'm just going to bring the machine in i'm going to stitch those two together now you could just do a small seam allowance. If you're, if you're being really accurate, you could um, use a quarter inch foot for this, but really you don't need to be 100% accurate for this, as long as you're joining all the pieces together. So I'm just going to stitch these through all these layers together. I'm going to do a quite slightly bigger stitch length because I'm going through wadding as well. Stitch. So I've gone up to a stitch length of three. So I've stitched those on like that, and then you flip this bit down. Okay, so you've stitched, it's called stitch and flip because you stitch and then you flip. <laughs> That's what it's called. Uh, so I'm going to do Let's do this bit next. I think I'm going to do this bit. I'm going to try and go at an angle this time. So I'm going to go at an angle like that. So just like I say, you don't have to join up the, you don't have to um, line up the bits. Just make sure that you're covering your wadding. So I'm going to stitch that one. Again, I'm going to stitch that on. This can get quite addictive. I can see myself wanting to do this already. Yeah, because it's not, you haven't got to do all the accurate cutting that you do when you're doing patchwork. You know you've got to cut out lots of accurate pieces. It's a bit like a crazy patchwork, but it's just a little bit, again, it's a little bit easy because you're sort of making it up as you go along. There we go, that's going to flip down like that, but I am actually going to trim off that excess fabric, that little bit of excess fabric there next to the seam, so there's nothing to... I didn't need to trim that. Now, every time I stitch, I should really be pressing, but I haven't got my iron set up, so I'm not fussing today. So that's that, like that. So now I think I'll go with some red and green holly. But I am going to go straight this time because I'm 
rubbish at doing angles. I'd have to think about it a bit more if I was going to do a slide that over a little bit more so I can make sure I'm really covering both sides of the wadding there. And pin it in place and stitch it again. Justine said finger pressing. Yeah, finger pressing. When you're working with cotton, finger pressing is fine, isn't it? But obviously you get a much... Well, it's always, it's always rewarding when you press cotton with the eyes, isn't it? Because you get it nice and... That's that one. So stitch and then flip like that and now I just want to I've got a bit of selvage showing here so I am going to do a little bit more on this corner here do an angle I'll do an angle like that I might go across the toe like that I'm going to go across like that I'm not going to pin I'm going to be a rebel and not pin that one because it's only mm. a little bit little bit more so that is all stitched in place I'm going to turn that over and cut off the excess fabric around the edge and you could do this when you're joining your front to your back but I like to be able to see what I've got it's too, it's too messy to do this afterwards Such fun because you can buy lots of fat quarters of this sort of fabric. I've got a box full of them. You haven't even got to buy them. I've got loads. Of them. Mm. I've got loads of masks. <laughs> yeah. Oh yes, you've got Christmas masks, haven't you? So that's my uh, that's my sort of layout that I've got there. Now, once you've done the front with on the wadding, you take a piece of um, your fabric for the back of the stocking and pin that to another piece of wadding. So I've pinned that, and I've also made a little hanging loop there. That's just. Um, with some bias binding that I've folded in half and stitched, and that has the loop has to fold inwards. Always remember that it's got to fold inwards. And I'm going to place these right sides together. Janet said, "Good nail colour with the lunar top." Oh, thank you very much. I didn't even plan that. That's just very fortuitous. So I'm going to pin this all together through all the layers, and I've got to make sure that little bit there gets caught. That's a bit at the bottom. So pin through all the layers. There, and I'm going to stitch around and I'm going to use a quarter inch seam so you can either use a quarter inch foot or you can move your needle over and I'm just going to go down and around the shape leave the top open at the moment just do a small seam allowance if you move your needle to 5.5 you can use the edge of the foot and you might depending on your wadding thickness you might need to go up on the stitch length done all these bits these seams you could put ribbon on those before you do this thing you could put ribbon or rip wrap Christmas ribbons always fun So really, we should do some trimming. Trim off any excess fabric. Do some snips around the corners, just to make sure that it's all going to turn through nicely. I'm just going to trim that off because I went a bit. You went rogue. A bit rogue. Yeah, a bit rogue. And then I'm going to turn it inside out, so we can make sure we haven't missed any bits. Oh, Janice says my nails go very well with the magnetic pin tray. Yeah, well. very coordinated today. the um, toe out and the 
this is very interesting for you to watch, but I'm just going to do it. <laughs> we might have lost our little toe, tiny toe bit. In my, in my rogue, look, it's very tiny. <laughs> in my rogue side. Should have been more dramatic Should've on your angles. Yeah, but anyway, that's, so that's the, um, that's looking quite cute, isn't it? It's got a little hanging loop. So I'm just going to even it up at the top here because I've got some fabric sticking out at the top of the wadding just to make that straight. Claire Tyler Couture goes slapdash. Yeah, there's a little bit. Craft. Okay, so we need to make a lining for this now. So to make the lining, again, you cut two pieces um, for your lining fabric and stitch them together around the edge. But make sure you leave a gap of about four centimetres on the long straight edge there. And again, I've done some snips around the curves. And then you take this one and put it inside. So you're going right sides together. And we're going to stitch them together around the top. Cynthia said, uh, if it's an inside curve, snip it, and an outside curve, notch it. Notch it, yeah, that's right. So I'm going to put this inside and join them together at the top. Now, when you're doing something small like this, um, obviously, I know a lot of people like to use a free arm, and this is too small even for a free arm. So, stitching inside the circle, inside the um, top here, will be the easiest way to go. Just make sure everything lines up at the top here. And my seams all line up, and then we're going to stitch around the top here. Or oh, Wendy says use pinking shears. Pinking shears is very good, yes. If you're, if you're wanting to lay a seam and go around curves, going around with pinking shears is really good. You should get all your notching done. Oh, bye Celia. Celia's got to go. Oh, thanks for joining us, Celia. See you soon. Just going all the way around the top. Yeah, again with my little quarter inch seam. Do quarter inch seams, don't have to trim things. So. All the way around. Okay, so that's all the way around. Okay, so it's all encased the top. And now we're going to turn it through that gap we left at the, back, on the back on the back. So put it all the way through. Turn everything the right way out. And at this stage, I would suggest um, once you've got to this bit, you can close that gap. You can stitch that on the machine or you could do it by hand. And then you just push the lining down the inside. Oh, look at that. So you've got a little line. You're stocking. Stocking. Push it all the way down so it's right into the curves. And you could... I won't push it around because that's going to take me a little while to fiddle with that. And then you could do a little top stitch around the top if you wanted to, just to make sure everything stays in place. There you go. A stitch and flip Christmas stocking. Cute. I want to make inside. one. It's quite. It's such good fun to make. It is such good fun to make. I want to make really big ones. Yeah, make big ones. You could make, you could make cushions there, couldn't you, in the same way, using up um, bits of Christmas fabric. Um, or even if you wanted to make padded bags, I think a padded like a padded tote bag is quite nice as well to use up all these bits and make them really colourful. When at Christmas we can be as colourful as we like, can't we? <laughs> My two little stitch and flip stockings. There we go. Very good. So somebody said to me they wanted me to do lots of little gifty ideas as my demo, so there we are. <laughs> well, in the run-up to Christmas, yeah, great idea. No, that solved my Christmas present. Thank you very <laughs> much. Ask. Love the idea of a tote bag. Yeah, so I think said. a tote bag. A quilted tote bag is a really nice idea, and that's a really quick way of doing quilting, isn't it? Quilting and... Um, it's an idea, Jen. Jen's doing a um, bag for Christmas. So there we go. I'm going to leave those there so you can see them. Such fun. Stitch and flip. Stitch and flip. But do press it in between. In my couture sort of way. <laughs> <laughs>
Just before Amy comes in, I did need to tell you very quickly about some uh, bits of haberdashery that came in. We did sell quite a lot of haberdashery at the Knitting and Stitching show. Uh, and um, so some bits have come back in. But we have got a, a new version of, you know, the Simplex um, expanding gauge that we sell. But you have to get that. It's quite difficult for us to get hold of that. But then we've now got a hem, hemline um, have brought out a version, which is a plastic one, but does exactly the same thing. And it's probably about half the price. So these are now available on the website. It's more so than half if you're, the price. Know, less, yeah, they're about nine pounds. I think. Less than half. So if you're, they're for marking buttonholes. So if you're marking your first buttonhole as your apex, you can then expand this out or do them, you know, to measure the distance between your buttons and buttonholes there. So that's the new expanding gauge, which is on the website. Uh, and we also have these lovely wooden thread uh, spool stands, which um, come in two different sizes. This one is for twenty-five spools. And we also have a new one, which was very popular at the show, which bought 60 spools. And they're uh, beechwood, so they're very nice, nicer uh, um, things to have in your sewing room. Um, and you can also, as well as having them standing, you can hang them up. They've got these little holes in the back, so you can actually flatten this bit down and hang them on the wall as well. So there's a couple of things that we have back on the website for you to see um the name of the crop jacket i think the yannicka jacket by liesel the crop jacket with the mandarin type collar that would be so the, is that the one the sort of collar that stands up like this sir uh, that would Jen, be a mandarin Jen, that's collar, the, yeah it? that's the yannicka jacket by um, liesel and co really nice jacket works very well in brocades so that's my that's all my news and my demo done so um, I think it's time Amy came to say hello. Yay! Let me just move my bits out of the way. I need to move over, don't I? Just a tad, please. Move over. That's the one. Jen says that's the one. Thank you. Uh huh. You're very welcome, Jen. It's yeah. nice to hear from you, Jen. Ooh, here comes the drink trolley. Amy's coming in. Rattling in. Hello. <laughs> You've just got your lovely big easy top on. Today, I got my big you? easy top because yeah. I'm very cold. It was cold in here today, wasn't it? Yeah. Big easy top and. Just some wide leg trousers. Oh, we've done a sew along for that, Jen. We did that last year, but I might repeat it if it's. Um, yeah, it was a popular one. It was very popular. We did it. Yeah, we did it earlier in the year. Lots of Hong Kong binding on that one. I guess a couple of people making that on the um, retreat. That's there are. So oh, I've just got something in my hand. That's not good. Is it? I try not to cry. <laughs> <laughs> so, so you've been very busy. Happy yeah, birthday. Thank you, Janet. Thank you. Um, yeah, happy birthday. I don't think there's anything else really for me to update on. No. Apart from I mean, people need to, if they haven't already, reply to your email about the West Country Retreat. Yeah, I think there's only two people that haven't replied now. Yeah. And, um, yeah, if you haven't already bought your tickets to the Christmas party. Christmas party. Get your tickets now. Get your sequin dresses uh, out. Get your sequin dresses ready. Oh, my eye is watering. Yeah, Not quite. That's when the contact lens yeah, goes flapping yeah. onto the table. Um, Bought the South Bank pattern in Lee. Oh, because you were wearing that last time, weren't you? Yeah, it was good, isn't it? It's a great, that's a great jumper dress. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, so we're, we're just getting ready, aren't we, for the, uh, for the retreat Getting now. ready for the retreat. Yeah. yeah, one week to go. So, yeah, lots to do. Looking forward to going um, to Devon. Yeah, very excited. So, actually, our next sew along, our next live won't be for three weeks, will it? Three. Yeah, yeah. the week after the retreat, mm. so... Yeah, three weeks time we'll be back live with mm. news of what happened in Devon. No, what what's what the, what, what happens stay, on retreat stays, stays on, retreat. on retreat. Sorry, there'll be no gossip. There'll be no gossip. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll just get straight to the cocktail. Well, we might as well get straight to the cocktail. Well, well I was going to do because it's bonfire night. I was going to do like a a warm one, but then I forgot my glass mugs and I also forgot my sparklers. So I then went for my second option of warming cocktails, which is good because I haven't ever done a classic martini, and this is not a classic martini, but <laughs> <laughs> it is an alternative version of a classic dry martini. So it's called um, I don't know a smoky martini. I'm me. sorry, no, I'm a surprise. <laughs> I didn't know my brain was going. <laughs> it's called a smoky martini. Um, and it is gin and it's supposed to be scotch, but I didn't have any scotch, but I do have bourbon. So it's gin and whiskey. Um, but I think the reason for scotch was that I guess means the peatiness. Mm. 
So I'm using bourbon anyway, but you basically replace the vermouth for whiskey. Oh, so it's a nice. tiny amount. You barely taste it. It's a nice jug. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> this is actually my cocktail mixing glass. Yes. Not a jug. It's not a jug. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so it's only two ingredients, gin oh. and whiskey. And that gin? This gin is from Guernsey that Su uh, Suzanne gave to us very kindly, blue mm. bottle gin. Um, so let's make a smoky martini. I have to do the uh, mom with the sparkling Sorry. On. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Well. <laughs> Honestly. Amy's going to be doing a cocktail demo down at Boys Company in Chitsu. So she's just doing a masterclass. It's so sad because it's a shame because our um, retreat clashes with Harrogate, so Wendy and Sue can't come. But uh, you'll be having a lovely time up in Harrogate instead. I miss you. So, um, we need, it's quite alcoholic, so we've already discussed we may not finish ours, but I'm going to make it true to spec. Yeah, I'm going to make it true to spec. So, first all, of all, it's very boozy. It's 70 mils of gin. Nice. Nice. Which for us is 140. <laughs> of course, they we still got happy to sort out tonight. Yeah. We've got, we've got work to do. It's always good to have a, a cocktail while you're working. <laughs> all right. There's all the gin. Wow. And it's seven mils so really not very much whiskey um it's just a teensy bit so i'm gonna go so i need 14 so i'm gonna go half of that one in the oh gosh, is that i don't think yeah it might be a 10. i'm gonna do two of those because i think that's just that's a five okay Oh, if that's five, I need three. three. yeah. There we go. Nice. Which one of us is driving home? <laughs> Both are separate. Yeah, after many, after much coffee and finishing work. Quite yeah. Nice. <laughs> so, um, then you stir it. Mm. Something sticky in there. It's not a shaken one. It's not a shaken, it's a stirred one, because you don't want the ice to melt too much. You're just blending those... Two lovely. So this is like James together. Bond, as in shaken, not stirred. Exactly. Stirred, not shaken. Stirred, not shaken. Stirred, not shaken. Exactly. If you were going to shake a martini, you generally would swirl some vermouth around in your martini glass first, oh. and you just shake the gin on its own. That's interesting. You have to do one of those swirls on the then, because you haven't done that's a classic a martini. Mar that's a classic martini, is it? Classic. Mm. Okay. And that's it. Wow. I know. You just stir it together. Give it a little stir. It smells nice. Well, that's the that's the uh, the smell. It's the smell. whiskey. Mm. Yeah. Bourbon. Bourbon. So yeah, it's supposed to be with scotch. Um, there's a funny story with this cocktail that a bartender thought he made it up in the 70s, but then a a writer, an author wrote a story about a Cold War spy that was apparently true to life and the cold war spy drank it in oh. the 50s so we don't know who may came up with it there's no feel we don't know if that's true or not so we don't know who came up with it whether it was a cold war spy an author or a bartender, a bartender. um and then you're just going to get some a nice lemon rind well, this is your new knife well this is one yeah but i have just bought so when you get a zester you have the channel knife on it I think you would like this one too, Ruth. Mm. <laughs> oh yeah, Ruth likes a whiskey cocktail, doesn't she? Oh, it's working. Oh, it is, isn't it? But I have just bought a knife that specifically does this, so I didn't... Because... Which we will have down in ah, uh -oh. West Country. Yeah. Oh, that makes quite a nice little... It's a good bit. one, but um, the one I've just bought does a nice chunkier one. So you just want a little twist of lemon. In there. That's it. Lovely. And, and it's white really. Cotton. Well, it's kind of yellow. Mm. Ta da! Nice. It's, it does 
does smell really nice. I think that is the, the whiskey though. Cheers. 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 Happy Friday. Happy Friday. Oh, that's very strong. It is, but it's not like it's just nice. drinking gin, no, is not, it? No, it's not, is it? No, it's nice. Takes the edge off. Mm. Mm. She's gone back in for more, so it must have been I good. have to try it again, just to make sure. I will be able to have alcohol on Sunday as I've finished. Yay! So you'll be able to have some at the retreat, Janet. <laughs> Might have to have a cocktail with us next week. Amy's got a great fun uh, masterclass planned. Yes, I do. We're going to have a little trial, aren't we, next week? We're going to have to do a trial. Yeah, we'll just because. Because yeah, we have to. Yeah. <laughs> just to make sure. Just to make sure. Just to make sure. Yeah, absolutely. So yeah. that's great. I like that one. It's very strong, but it tastes really nice. But it's a sipping. A martini is a sipping drink. You're not supposed down to down it. it. No. You're supposed to slowly <laughs> sip it. So. <laughs> Yeah, and it's warming, that's the it whole is, point. It is really warming. <laughs> it is, right? But it's not like having a glass of whiskey. It's a nice warming, mm. so it's a good one to have before you go out for the bonfire. Oh, there you go, Wendy and Sue. Before yeah. you go out to the fireworks. Have a little smoky martini. Have a smoky martini. I'll help you out in your trial. <laughs> <laughs> more than welcome to. Yeah, we'll sort it out. Yes, that'd be good. Yeah. We always need more here, because you can't be joining us, because you can't join us in with Devon. Yeah. <laughs> Excellent. Well, that's a great one. I love mm -hmm. that. Yeah. That's all the news you've got this week. I think, I think it is. It? Yeah. yeah. It's been great. It's been a great week this week. Thanks, thanks for, for coming. Thanks for joining us this week on this cold evening. Have a lovely time if you're going out to look at fireworks. Yeah. You'll probably see them on the way home later. Quickly, go and make a smoky martini before yeah. you go out in the cold. <laughs> it's really warming. <laughs> it is very warm. Yeah. It's lovely to catch up with you all. Uh, have a great, well, we're three weeks now because we've got the retreat in the middle. So um, do keep in touch. Keep posting pictures of what you're making. And I'll see some of you here, quite a lot of you down in Devon. Looking forward mm -hmm. to it. <laughs> Look out for our pictures. And we'll see you again in about three weeks' time. See you then. Take care, everybody. Bye, everybody. Bye.